That was indeed a bunch of guards. I question for you guys is who gave you all this nice fancy gear, huh? Jesus. Dumbass. <laughs> Damn right, I'm over here. Holy shit. Don't come in here, dude. Yeah, your friends did not give much of a shit about you, buddy. Pay for that. Oh, no. Don't lose him. Hey, you better hope you don't hit this corner, dude. <laughs> Bye-bye, sir. It was a valiant effort. I'll give you A for effort. Marlene did not prep them at all. Because I am just steamrolling right through them. Yeah, it's just a straight shot to Ellie now. For some reason, uh, what's her name? I already forgot her name. Marlene. Marlene did not provide more guards for Ellie. Where were you when she got bit? This is what we were after. What you were after. They asked me to kill the smuggler. I'm not about to kill the one man in this facility that might 
might understand the weight of this choice. Maybe he can forgive me. Oh, I miss you, Anna. The answer on uh, the answer in regards to the uh, forgiveness part seems to be a big resounding no. <laughs> Joel ain't playing no games now. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing in here? Oh, they did make him rush out to make him white. This is our future thing. No! You fucking animal! Jerry, shut the hell up! He was black in the original game, for those that didn't know. Piece of self. <laughs> and my, I am doing a terrible job at handling these turns, aren't I? Come on. Tell me which way. Gotta do a god awful job of stopping me, Archie. What's your plan if you hit her? But why do I have trouble believing that they could Can't save her? Operate the elevators on generators. Like diesel generators. How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. Then maybe ask her. You haven't asked for her. For ask, you didn't ask for her opinion. You know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. But why are you trying to be all high and mighty and justify what you're doing by saying, oh, what well, if she gets murdered out there? You're about to murder her in here. Hi, Joel. How you doing, bud? Been a rough day, huh? It's been a lot of rough days. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. How am I wearing? Just take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Ain't done a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. Joel, you kind of complicated things by saying that there's dozens more like her. You said, like, they've encountered more like her. I'm taking this home. And testing hasn't been beneficial. <laughs> Yo, trusty nine mil. <laughs> One last use. <laughs> Wait. Let me go. Please. You just come after her. 
<laughs> Joel does not care. <laughs> My man takes no prisoners. There is no room for error in his worldview. You're a threat, you gotta go. How is that not healing, though? <laughs> looks like we're walking. It's a few months old at this point. Like it still looks like sh it looks not fresh, but it looks it looks it looks gross. <laughs> Should be a straight shot through here. All right. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Why do we have this? <laughs> Ellie, I'm going to be share a secret with you. I'm not a big fan of kids and I hate babies and yet I'm staring at you and I'm just awestruck. Not even a day old and holding you is the most incredible thing I've done in my life. A life that is about to get cut a little short. Arlene will look after you. There's no one in the world I trust more than her. When the time comes, she'll tell you all about me. Don't give her too much of a hard time. Try not to be as stubborn as me. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty messed up world. It won't be easy. The thing you always have to remember is that... Is that what? Life is worth living. Find your purpose and fight for it. I see so much strength in you. I know you'll turn out to be the woman you're meant to be. Forever lo your loving mother, Anna. Make me proud, Ellie. We got a Walkman. That old Sony product placement. This. The fuck is this? More more jokes, I guess. Alright. Now watch your head going through. Here. I got it. Feeling my age now. <laughs> Don't think I ever told you, but uh Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been, would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked. I mean, she would have been in her thirties, and Ellie's only fourteen. Jackson is in Wyoming, right? So it was Wyoming to Colorado and Colorado to Utah. My phone's on is not with me, so I can't check on there, but once we hit credits I'll try and do a quick check. Hey wait. Back in Boston. Back when I was bitten. Okay, Wyoming. I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So. She says. Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is it's all. Fuck Henry. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... So Wyoming to Colorado, finding something. Colorado to uh, I know that's Utah, not Colorado what you State are just right next to each other. 
Swear to me that everything that you've said about the fireflies is true. Now, how far is Jackson to Seattle? <laughs> Well, that's it again, guys. That is the credits for the ending of uh, The Last of Us Part 1. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're not completely done with the game. We still gotta get through the DLC, which I did neglect to do in the original playthrough. However many years ago that was, four or five years ago. Um, that's why we're doing the run back. We're doing the run back so we can do the DLC. <laughs> it's not the entire, that's not the only reason we're doing it, but it is a reason. Well, yeah, looking at this map. At the map, um, Colorado's right next to Utah, and then they're both on top of Wyoming, so. No, Wyoming's on top of both of them, so. Where would I go to find the University of. Was it Eastern Colorado? They, they moved from Boston, which is in Massachusetts, so... Where the fuck is that on this map? <laughs> so from there... Jeez, that is... There really they go. Pretty much across the entire country, didn't they? Then... The part two is... Uh, Wyoming to Seattle, which is in Washington. From Washington, it goes down to somewhere in California. This was San Jose? Somewhere on the coast of, of, Calif of California, so just right below Washington. Oh boy, this game is still as good as it was when I played it last. I am happy to say that playing the sequel has not tainted this game for me because, um, as I'm sure I've said more than once by now, I did not like the sequel at all. Um, I think The Last of Us Part 2 is probably one of the most disappointing games that come out in the past uh, decade. I mean, it, it looks good, it plays good, it's got good voice acting, it's just the story of the game drags it down so, so far. Whereas the story of this game is what elevates it, because it's so good. It's just well that you have a game that's so good with its narrative, and then a game that's so bad with its narrative in the same series. And, um, Lord knows I have no, excuse me. I have no hype in my body for for part three, whenever that comes into existence. <laughs> I really don't. But, um... I guess there's no harm in talking about it right now, because, uh... I'm sure by the time I upload this, I'll still be in the middle of uploading, uh... Well, not in the middle, but I'll still be working on uploading, um, Red Dead videos. Uh... Might as well go ahead and talk about it. Um... We finished Red Dead the other week, and I have been contemplating what I'll be playing to replace that game, since we're done with it, and I did a lot of searching, I was considering a lot of games, um, as you all know... I